I didn't even know that the outdoors was healing me until I got old enough to have the self-awareness to understand why I kept seeking out being in the outdoors. There's a perfect drop right there that the fish should be sitting at waiting for my fly. <laughs> I learned conventional fishing through my father and my grandpa and um, I had a pretty rough childhood and stepped away from that for a while. Me and my, at the time, three sisters went through the foster care system and then I was 24 and I was depressed, but at the time I didn't know what depression was. I watched a movie and I saw fly fishing and I was like, I need to get back into to fishing. That was the one time that I knew that I felt good. I signed up for classes at a fly shop in Minnesota. It was the first time in my life where my thoughts and my anxiety just kind of felt like the river was washing it down away from me. And I really just didn't set the rod down since. It's so much deeper than just fly fishing. It helped me navigate something that I struggled with my whole entire life that I didn't have a name for this just because I was not educated on what anxiety was or what depression was. But when you navigate something like that, to you feels like it's a personal flaw with your personality and your character of who you are and something you hide from the world for years of your life. And then I found a, something that helps me learn about it, helps me reflect on it. To me, that is why fly fishing saves lives. You stand in the river and just that presence of standing in the river and it pushing on your legs and it's slowing my heart rate down and I'm watching my fly drift. That slowness is definitely different than what uh, maybe the average eyes would see in adventure. Um, there is definitely days where adrenaline is pumping because I'm, I'm hooting and hollering for my friend that's hooked up and then sometimes it's just me alone with my dog and we're just sitting on the riverbed watching the fish rise slowly as the sun sets and so that is still an adventure in itself. When I started fly fishing, I realized like, oh, I can fly fish here, and I can fly fish here, and I can fly fish here. And within those beautiful places, you start to realize how much is underneath the surface of the water. I can go to a river and pick up a rock and look at the bugs crawling underneath it. And I'll then pick up my fly box and I'll look and compare it and match it. And it's something that like, I would go my whole life not even know these bugs existed. It's a pretty incredible thing knowing that you can get to such an intimate connection with the fish that you were able to create with your hands something that they would think was food to eat it. Here you go. Some water So what is the first thing that when you bring someone out onto the river that you would teach them how to do? I mean this you, I can show you right now if you really? want. Yeah. Okay. There you go. It's all you. The first time I taught someone how to fly fish was like the most exhilarating feeling I've ever felt. Yeah, when you bring fish. someone and they oh, find fish. this thing that is filling them up and giving them all of these resources to help them mentally, they're gonna then be like, nothing can happen to this. And then all of a sudden we have this huge voice for the outdoors to be able to protect these waters. Wow, that looks really good. Look at, see, you knocked yourself off your feet. You did so good.
the catch and release for me the most part is because I want those fish to continue living and thriving and being there for the next fisherman that wants to go and fish. Thank you fish. Thank you Junie. I literally found the Mayfly project just scrolling on Instagram and I was like, it's foster care and it's fly fishing. And I'm like, whoa, 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 why am I not a part of this? How do I become a part of this? But that program in itself is connecting the kids with the outdoors. There is something beautiful with just sitting on a river and processing things and having that sense of community. It helped me have further healing too, like being able to help kids through it fills me up so much. It's beautiful when you can teach somebody how to heal and also be outside. That's what's the beautiful thing about adventure is we can share all of the different types of adventure with each other and whether that is on a huge scale or just in your local community, it's something that I'm really excited about because with that is a new perspective on how you look at the outdoors.